Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of this brand new Sunset Harbor DLC, which has got everyone hyped, including myself. And uh, today I want to take a look at, in this video, the fishing industry. I want to dedicate a whole video to it. I want to see everything about it. Because from what I've seen, it's a more hands-on approach than any of the other industries that we currently have. Now, we have the oil industry, we have the ore industry, we have the forestry, and we have the farming industry. Now, all of those are pretty much just like, you zone it, place down the buildings, and let our, you know, citizens do the rest of the work. Where this one looks a little bit different in terms of like, it's still the same approach, plop everything down. But you have more effect on the, the environment. Like, you know, um, certain areas of fish, you get, well, certain areas of water, sorry, you get certain fish. Certain water can be polluted and you won't get it. Um, you got to choose a boat route. So it looks like a little bit more in depth uh, than a normal industry, which I'm kind of hyped about. Now, if you enjoy this, I want to see more of this uh, DLC and maybe want to see some experiments in the future. Let me know in the comment section down below, smash that like button, and if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe so you're notified pretty much when the next video comes out. Now, what I've done is, I've kind of built this town. A small, simple town that um, has a little bit of an industry, but it's really lacking jobs. Like, 4% of unemployed. Excuse me, now you're trying to show me up. Uh, but it's really kind of like needs that boost, that extra step in the right direction to kind of get things going, which an industry would be perfect. Now, like many, many things, um, as you build a city, stuff happens. You can see this big pollution patch right now we've created uh, from the kind of um, sewers right now, the drainage. And seeing as this town is quite, you know, heavily surrounded by water, which looks quite beautiful. This is one of the new maps. I can't, I think it's the Fisherman's Enclave, is what it was called there. Has this little dry patch over a ship and looks kind of dope. Um, we, we can really benefit from a fishing industry. Now, first things first, we need to sort out the pollution that we're doing because that is going to take a negative effect on it. Now, if I go to the overlays, and go to the sewage one, which is the sewage one right now. It's not that one. <laughs> uh, pollution, there we go. We can see what the pollution's being caused. We have this new one at the bottom right now is our fishing industry. And that also takes into effect the pollution too. So there's three types of fish, sorry, there's four types of fish, sorry, that we can get. Anchovies, salmon, shellfish, and tuna. So I take it tuna, where does tuna come from? Uh, does it not tell you where it kind of where we can kind of get it from? So apparently we, we've got no Tudor on this map. I'm not sure if it's like different climates or it's different kind of regions or that kind of jazz, I've, or, or different areas. I noticed a little bit of red over there. So there's some salmon over there. There's loads of anchovies and sh shellfish in this area. It could be like you need really really deep water. We'll play around with that. I don't think there's any water around here deep enough, but we'll see. But my first problem though is sorting out the sewage so we'll pause it because this is what's going to be happening to many many other towns that i've kind of created where we can have pollution in the water and we'll sort out some of the uh, kind of water needs right now so why don't we use one of the new water treatment plants then so i need the one that's going to do the sewage that's the eco version so that is for water services um as a drain capacity we'll go for yeah we we'll go this one should be fine for the drain capacity and I don't know if it would be okay to place by the industry, but if I drop it there, is that already connected up? Please tell me it's already connected up. Right? Are, are we draining? I believe we're draining, boys. Nice. And we do need to kind of sort out um, the pollution. Now, where is the little thing? That allows me to clean up the water in the thing. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. The floating garbage collector. So I'm going to drop a couple of these down. Now we do have infinite money on, so I'm not really too bothered about that. Just so I can kind of get some cleaning done. And then we'll eventually delete them all. And then just fast forward. Do they need power? Or are they all good? No, they should be all good. So while that happens then, and while it slowly starts cleaning up um, 
the pollution that we have caused, unfortunately, uh, to create this fishing industry. Let's take a look at it then. So in the industry section right now, we have a brand new fishing one, and we have lots of stuff that we can take a look at. So we've got stuff like here, all the fishing harbors. So we have to create a nice little dock area, in a sense. Uh, so it's all... Is there any production buildings? There is a couple of production buildings, and it comes in the, the fact that... Oh, there's actually no. You wouldn't really be a production building because it's kind of fish, isn't it? So we have a fish market where we can sell the goods, which is pretty cool. And then we have a fish factory, which obviously then um, uses it and cans the fish. So that's actually pretty sweet. So we're going to need a lot of this then. So what's the difference between all this stuff then? So we have a fishing harbor. Sends out low capacity um, fishing boats. We have a anchovy fishing harbor. Oh, okay, so we have different harbors for different types of fish. Right, I got you. We have the salmon one, we have the shellfish, we have the tuna one, and then we have the fish farm. A fish farm can be used to grow and gather high yields of fish. Um, right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, it can take the fish market or the fish factory. It can also be exported. Farms can even build on small lakes. Farms suffer from local water pollution. Okay, I get you. I get you, boy. Uh, then we have the algae farm. It can be used to grow and gather high yields of algae. A farm has a growing cycle when complete. It sends out a... Oh, okay. Ooh. All right, all right. Then we have the seaweed farmers. Wow. Wow. So not only does it just fish, we can get algae. And we can also get seaweed too. All right, that's actually really pretty cool. And this here is our fishing route that we would set up. So we are slowly kind of cleaning the area, but we're going to basically need to create a nice little harbour. What's this over here? Is that a, why is there a random truck just chilling? What's going on there? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So we clean up this area here first, which is pretty sweet. So let's go to the terrain tool right now, and let's try and smoothen this back a bit, or at least pick a level. So the water level is about there. So if I pick this and then kind of flatten this back a bit, there we go. So we're going to create a nice little harbored area. So if I bring this out, there we go. We're going to reclaim some of the land. So I've done this many a times in, in the past, boys. I mean... If you're not used to me reclaiming land, I highly recommend checking out the Oil Town series uh, for general rage quits. <laughs> and let's now smoothen this off as it brings it down to like this kind of like a makeshift bay area that we're kind of creating. And we're going to bring a road down from the roundabout up to this area. Now, it's pretty standard, pretty solid. I think we should key wall it. That will be the next best thing to do. So let me get this all set up then, and then we'll be ready to rock and a roll for our beautiful, beautiful fishing Right, industry. so we've created a nice little bay area right now, a nice little harbour, hooked up to the roundabout, and the pollution has gone to a certain extent, which is pretty good. So in the fishing grand scheme of things, um, there we go. So we've got a lot of anchovies kind of around us. That rest of the pollution will slowly disappear. Uh, we've got a lot of shellfish as well. And, ooh, there's a little bit of kind of dark colour over there. So I think if we make some of the areas a little bit deeper, then we might start to get the tuna. Hmm. And uh, salmon, I, I take it. I mean, again, is, it could be depths, it could be shallows. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of figure it out. We'll kind of figure it out together, boys. Right. So then let's get a few of this all set up then. So I'm going to have to first create a zone for the industry, aren't I? So hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, paint industry. So let's paint this whole area here. There we go. Uh, I wonder what that was. I thought that was pollution for a second there. No, it's it's oil. <laughs> oil town, you say? <laughs> right. Um, let's get this up and running. So let's start with a, a basic fishing harbor then before we specialize in different stuff so uh, didn't realize there's gonna have a road attached to it like that that's fine so if I drop you down there or should I drop you over here keep it simple yeah let's drop it there there we go and we get a little road connecting nice it's called the Empire Zone <laughs> and it's gonna need some power so let's get some power down to these guys over here just kind of do something simple like that 
It's going to need some water, of course. Yeah, just go. Nice and simple, easy. And we need to set up then. So this simply, all it simply does then, uh, it sends out a low capacity fishing boat that can catch all types of fish. So you don't really need to specify a Pacific um, harbor. Like if you only want to catch anchovies, this will pretty much do a little bit of everything. So I suppose that's pretty nice, isn't it? So let's kind of create a little boating route then. And I think it'll be perfect. Let me turn the anarchy off there. So I think it would be perfect to kind of do the bendy one. So the you know the boat can kind of sail around. So it's going for the anchovy uh, section. Coming up to the shellfish. Uh, make it go through a little bit more. Turn it around. Bring it down. So it's going through more anchovy area than shellfish anyway. But we'll bring it down to here. So I'm not sure how full... It's going to pretty much get before it has to come back. But if I do a nice big stretch, then I suppose they can't really moan at that point, can they? All right, there we go. So we've got a nice little boating route then. So, oh, I think we've actually got a boat coming out. Is that right? Yes, boys. So I wonder how many boats come out in total. So we can have freight trucks in use. Is that actual trucks or is the freight trucks meaning boats? I don't know, but it's sending boats out right now, one after the other. We've got 19 workers apparently, and can we click on these? Yeah, fish loaded. Oh, okay, right. So that, I take it that's going to be, yeah, that's already 100%, and I'd have, I'm making it go the full distance. Right, so maybe I don't need such a huge, such a huge, um, how do I delete it? Um, how do I delete this? Can I highlight it like that? No. Can you not delete it once you've placed it in? Or what if I... Okay, what if I did this? Invalid shape. You can't even come off it. Okay, well, we'll only just go to the full distance anyway. Because it's sending a load of boats out anyway, in general. Um, I'm not sure how many boats it's going to send out. But that's going to bring the fish over here. So we're collecting the fish at this point. But we're not currently selling it. So let's go back into play mode, uh, slow mode. And let's set up a fish market then. So does this need to be placed inside of the region? Um, let, well, easiest way to find out is no, it doesn't. So this is just a general fish market. I think we should get set up somewhere. Um, should we have it like over here? That'd be a nice little spot for a fish market, wouldn't it? Or having it down by the dock. Well, then again, having it down by the dock makes more sense. Right, if I place it there, and there we go. Let's kind of do some smoothening of the terraforming right now. Let's kind of go around it a bit because we're coming down to a to the shoreline level. Push that one out a bit more. There we go. It looks a little bit better. So we've got a fish market down there then. So you can come down to the docking area and buy some sweet, delicious fish. Well, that's actually going to be pretty cool. We've just got to wait for the fishing boats to finish up though. I didn't realize they'll get filled up so quick. So my bad. Um, right. And then so we got we can now sell the fish to the peeps, but then we can also create the fish factory now does that need to be no that can be pretty much anywhere as well so if i brought this over to here so it's in the industrial area the fish factory uh so not enough raw fish at the minute so we've got to wait for the fishes to come in so we've got the local catch you can come down and buy at the fishing dock uh, we can sell the canned goods in the industrial area so this is the start of our beautiful beautiful fishing industry let me get this the same level boom to there so it's a shame maybe can't delete the uh maybe you have to like kind of cancel it or turn it off before you can delete the line because there's already boats out there but it's not too long before i mean at this point right now we're gonna have a boat coming every so often so this is here is our first full boat of fish right now delicious fish i don't suppose it gives us like a, like a, a breakdown of uh what type of fish it caught. 
I don't suppose it's going to, but that should now have some fish in. Oh, I delete the root there. Gotcha. Now, we'll keep the root as it is. Right, so if I fast forward then. Um, boat's coming in. So, oh, it's a tiny bump it goes up by. To having some fish in. It's slowly getting there. There's not even a, a, a ton stored yet. So that would take some time before it loads it up. That's pretty cool. And then at some point, uh, fish sold last week, zero. We haven't had any fish sold just yet. Right, that's pretty sweet, mate. Right, okay. So let's take a look at the other types of stuff then. So these are the basic ones for the different types of fish. Fish farm. Uh, sorry, where is it? You know, there's anchovy, salmon, shellfish, tuna. Then we have the... The general fish farm, which kind of creates its own little area. Um, so if I put that... I'll save that. But if I put that up here... Um, I'm going to have to kind of sort that out in just a moment. We've got the algae farm as well. And if I put that there... Uh, we've got the seaweed farm, which if I drop that there... Right, and with the power invested with your boy, I have that um, touch this mod, which I can kind of unhook the roads that come with the buildings. And right, am I off that now? Yeah, and I can then bulldoze the roads, and then hopefully we can position them a little bit to the point where. It's against the road or as close as and I think we'll redo the road slightly so let's redo the road I mean we have to move that as well so I'm throwing a couple of little mods in the scene right now all right if I bow that up around like that and there we go and then just slightly move this a little bit closer no skin off our nose. And then push that over there. The water should be all good to go. It's a bit weird how it's now kind of <laughs> connected those up. Alright, if I moved it over that side a bit. And then unhook the road. There we go. Just so those weren't touching. It feels better now, doesn't it? So yeah, we can. We're now pretty much producing seaweed. We're pretty much now producing algae, and we're pretty much now producing well, just generally catching fish inside of here. So not only does it provide more jobs, but now it's going to start bulking out and sending stuff to market. So we sold 50 fish last week at the market. Um, it'll be a while until. Oh no, this has already got some fish. I didn't realize we already delivered some stuff up. Is that going over there now? No, it's not a fish thingy, but jig. So we've got some food coming from there. Uh, this is just generally just getting fish as time goes on. Let me just uh, now retreat this a bit. There we go. Oh, good, boys. Oh, good. So we've got a small little fishing industry coming in right now. So has that really improved the unemployment? Yeah, it's added more jobs. We could probably do with a few more residents. So let's add a few more residents in. So if I come off here and uh, start to wind this area down a bit. There we go. And see what we can kind of create here. Boom, turning out. Just turn that there to kind of wind it down. So in terms of residents then, let's get them all moved in. So they're going to have some really nice houses kind of overlooking the bay area. It'd be easier just to paint it in, wouldn't it? Yeah. They're going to have some real nice houses. So bring those guys in. Uh, they've got water. We're all good. Let it naturally do what it's got to do. And then off the trucks go. So they're shipping the goods. they got a couple on there. Not too many at the minute, which is pretty sweet. So you've always got that room for expansion. And let's see what we can get in now as an addition. So we'll get one more in, and then we'll take a look at setting up, or the ability to get more different types of fishing. So another fishing harbour, if I added another one in like that, 
And if I got it just there, because we've got anarchy and all that kind of stuff. Um, and if I go use the touch it mod, get rid of that, delete it. <laughs> and then with the road, bring it down to there, to there. Right, I mean, use a touch it again. Right, I've caused a little bit of flooding. But I'm creating a nice little loop here. And I wonder if it would be a good idea to maybe place down a little car park. Would that be beneficial in any way? Alright, we'll just squeeze it there. For the small space that we've got. And I need to hook this up then to the fishing thing. Now, can I hook it up to a pre-existing one? No, it pretty much needs its own. Right, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. So we can cross them. I don't know. Oh, let me. Hold on. Let me undo that. I didn't mean to click then. Delete line. Do you know what? I'm going to delete this route as well. Boom, gone. And we'll create some new routes. It makes sense, doesn't it? Right, so here. Okay, we've got a nice windy and bendy. We kind of found that it kind of got up to here, and it was pretty much full. So if I don't make it go all the, the full distance. There we go. Now for this one. Pretty much the same thing. We know it's going to get full pretty quick. There we go. Two nice little loops we've got there for the boats. And then off they go. Off they go fishing. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like it. I actually like it. So how is the wig warehouse up here doing then? So uh, I feel like we just need to get the more workers in uh, first and start filling them all up. So I'm just going to the, the total workers. So let me just check this right now. So this industry has no specialization. Build an industrial area, farm building. As far as it's oh, so you actually, do you know what? Is it not? Do you not do that then? Like, we don't need a main building like normal places, so it's not like a type of industry. I didn't realize that. It's not an actual type of industry to what you would expect. So, really, I can actually get rid of all of this. I don't really need to zone it, do I? See, that's what I mean by when I said, like, it's kind of different from the normal industry. That's kind of dope, man. I like it. I actually like that because it means you haven't got to do specific stuff to kind of get it all up and running. I wish that the other ones were like this. I really do. So, let me, um, because these are kind of hovering, aren't they, slightly. Let me get them all at the same level as that. Oh, no, not not, not all the same level, are they? Oops-a-daisy. Right, hold on, hold on, boys. Hold on. Let me do this in stages, because I've completely messed this up. Right, same level as that. That one. Same level as that. This one. Same level as that. Oh, we'll, we'll pump it up a bit ourselves. There we go. Oh, I'm going to roll with it. I won't mess around with it anymore. It's all good. It's all good, boys. It's all good. So that's a nice little initiative we got setting up then. Uh, do we find out if we can earn, well, how much money we're making off it? So... Weekly income from the industry and fishing industry, so it's all combined as one. So we're making 1,700, 1,300, um, 1,700, so oh, 2,000, okay. 3,000 right now, okay, it depends when there's an export going out. But we're getting some nice chunk of change coming in right now. And it's an industry that we can continually grow. Now, one thing I want to look at is, can I have that view up at the same time? No. But if you take a look at the terrain height, see how it dips down there, dips down here? It does have a different effect on the, the fish. Um, so, that one's a lot more shallower. So do you get different types of fish in shallower water? Hmm. Yeah, I can see it happening just there. So if I smoothed... Um, yeah, let me change... Let me get... No, I want to keep that up. Let me... Uh, Alright, if I bulked this out, this, this bed here. You can see the different types of fish that we would potentially get. 
Alright, let me smooth in this off because we are really going to be causing waves and whatnot. But we can now start to get a little bit of salmon around here as it kind of settles, which is interesting. So how deep do you have to go to get tuna? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. So if I just went down a bit, if I create like a deep hole here as, as low as we can go. Tuna! Yes! Okay, it does work like that. Right, let me uh, smooth this up. I wonder also as well. Oh, I'm going to cause a tsunami wave now, aren't I? Damn it, you fool, Leo. Um, but yeah, okay, so we can literally affect what type of fish we have in certain areas. So we get a little bit of uh, salmon on the shoreline. So it looks like it goes then salmon, then anchovy in terms of depths, then shellfish, then tuna. Hmm, okay, okay. Right, I've caught some right waves, haven't I? <laughs> I literally have. Um, so this is pretty sweet, man. Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, this DLC and this brand new fishing industry. I think it's looking pretty good, apart from the fact that the building's on fire. Are we going to get a... Uh, is a fire engine on its way? Yeah, they're on their way right now. They're coming down the uh, the hill. Guys, you need to hurry up. They're stuck behind a truck. All right, save the fishing industry, boys. There we go. It's nice and crispy. We've got some grilled fish coming out of that place. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, if you have been using it, what's your thoughts on it? And um, if you want to see some experiments on it, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. So we'll just wait for this flood to disappear. But has it kind of settled now anyway? Yes, yeah, so we got some oh, some tuna on the edges. Oh, maybe I was wrong then. Maybe you don't need such a deep area for tuna. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we need open sea. Maybe that's what we need. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. <laughs> but as always, there's constant flooding. There's never, never no flooding in a Cineo video. But until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>